Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to create the scrolling news sticker you guys see at the bottom of the screen. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Alright, so let's get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to right click here in the content browser and create a user interface. And we're going to look for widget blueprint. And we're going to call this scrolling ticker. We're going to open this up, and all we're going to need is a text box right here that we're going to see under common. So drag in a text box, and we will make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to anchor this to the bottom center. And in here, you can type whatever you like. This will be your news ticker. Hope you find this helpful. OK, so I'm going to change this color. Just any color you guys want to pick. We can have green. And I'm going to make this font a little bit bigger, like 36 make this box bigger so it can hold that and we will make sure this is left justified and what we're gonna do we want this to start off screen so we're gonna put our little text box over there and we're gonna come down here to animation and we're gonna create an animation for our text box so we will call this my news so we'll click animation here and we'll say scroll and then we're gonna click on the scroll and we're gonna add a track and we're gonna add a track for my news which is the text box that we just created and under here we're gonna add a track to my news and we wanna transform so first thing we wanna do is make sure it starts over here off screen and we do that by adding a keyframe so we're gonna click this little button right here in between the two arrows and you see that's gonna create a keyframe for us and then if we open up this transform here we see translation this is what's gonna get our box to move as you can see as I scroll back and forth with this it's moving around so let's set this back to zero we're gonna wanna drag out this little red bar and depending on how long you have this animation run will determine how long or how fast the text is going to go across the screen so you want people to be able to read it so we'll say about 12 seconds and then what we want to do now that we have this bar out here at 12 seconds we want to actually move our text box to our final location so I'm going to keep scrolling until it's off the screen in the other direction and then I'm going to click this keyframe again and that's going to add a keyframe over here and the last thing we need to do in here is go into the graph and off of event construct we're going to grab out our scroll this is the animation and we want to make sure we play it so we'll drag off of here and say play animation and we're going to hook this up like that and that's really all we need to do. The last thing that we're going to need to do to see this is we're actually going to go, I'm just going to throw this into the level blueprint for now, just because it's easier, but you can put this in your player character wherever you want. So open up our level blueprint. I'm going to right click, search for begin play. And then I'm going to say create widget. And the widget I want to create is my scrolling ticker. And the player is going to be get player controller. So this is going to assign that widget to the first, uh, basically, player one screen. And we're going to add to viewport. This is what's going to actually make it show up in the viewport so the player can see it. We'll compile and save. And just so we don't get confused, 
I'm going to get rid of my other widget that I have. I'll just do this. Compile and save. And now we'll hit play. And as you can see, you now have a scrolling text across the bottom of your screen. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.